How's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in this video I'm going to be talking about some incredibly controversial news that has recently come up from uh, the past two gaming events PAX and Gamescom. Um, we've got some lot of details and this one is going to be very shocking. So an interview out of ASU gamers.com uh, it's an australia based website where they do gaming interviews and talk about news etc recently did an interview with one of the developers for raven and infinity ward and an answer they got out of them is very shocking so the question was is there ever a conversation to just dump aim assist and this developer says there's always conversations like that one of the things we've done is that quick scoping is not in the game and that was a conscious choice. It's something that we've removed, and I think we will make, and that decision will make a lot of people happy. I know that's something that always gets brought up as a questionable thing, and it always comes back to aim assist. So, wow, no quick scoping. Let me show you the video, and I'll get back to you in a second. And I don't know if you, like, one of the things we've done is we've really, we've, quick scoping is not in the game. Um, and that was, that's a conscious choice. It's something that we've removed. Um, and I think that will make a lot of people happy. I know. That that's something that always gets brought up as a questionable thing. It always comes back to aim assist. Um, but yeah, there, there's always there's things we try throughout the whole development, and it really comes down to iterating and play testing and just getting feedback and keep going with that. So, like I'm saying, wow, my face is starstruck right now. Uh, quick scoping has been a part of the Call of Duty franchise. I use the term quick scoping because there's no like definitive definition for uh, this is the proper way to quick scope, but it has been a play style for as long as I can remember, dating back to Call of Duty 2. I know it's been done in games before. Call of Duty is definitely the most prevalent, though. And it's been a style that I said a lot of people use since Call of Duty 2, uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, even in World at War a little bit, but it was really brought out when the huge wave of commentators came out in Modern Warfare 2 and said, hey, you know, it's um, it was very clear that sniping in Modern Warfare 2, even I could do it. I mean, not saying that I'm very good. Obviously, sniping and quickscoping in general takes a lot of skill uh, to do, to be really good at. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's the snipers that get, you know, the lucky one-two knockout haymaker punches there, but giving me a sniper is, is not going to lend me to have a good score. So, it does take some skill to use them, which I do appreciate. Now, like I said, it's been a part of the Call of Duty series for a while, and to just take it away like that is something huge. That would be something similar to taking drop shotting out of the game. Now, drop shotting isn't like, you know, it isn't like a create a class move, but it is a giant play style. A lot of people revolve their game around drop shotting and uh, kind of like what I'm doing right here, just going prone in certain situations. It'd be almost as something as similar as taking that out or even removing a perk of some sort. So, I think this is really... I don't know. I don't know how the community is going to respond to this. Uh, I would definitely love to hear from you guys down below. Of course, I would love for you guys to uh, to like and definitely leave comments because this is one of the more c controversial things that Call of Duty Ghost and the Infinity Ward team have done. Uh, they've done a lot of really good things uh, that we've seen so far, like dedicated servers, uh, no death streaks, no game ending nuke. Uh, th they've been doing a lot of positive things. And would this be the thing that pushes players over the edge and say, no, 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 we don't like that? Because think about it. The last time a developer touched the sniper rifles, it was Treyarch and David Von Hart and his team, they got death threats, and I mean severe death threats, like not good death threats that you don't want to see, so uh, I don't really know what's going to happen. Is this the straw that breaks the camel's back for a lot of people? Because I know a lot of people love to quickscope, it's a very popular play style, and uh, in the hands of a really professional sniper is super deadly and super effective. So. Man, I really don't know what to think. I, I love it when, or I, I don't like the idea of being destroyed on by a sniper at close range because he's able to, you know, aim down the sight really quickly. But I do appreciate guys that are really good with sniper rifles because it's a skill that I don't have and it's a trait that uh, I've not been able to master. So I'm really torn on uh, really about this. I wish they could find some middle ground. I don't know if completely re removing it is the correct answer, but I guess only time will tell. So anyways, guys, like I said, I would definitely encourage you guys to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe, and definitely let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Wow, this is crazy news. Anyways, like I said, thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.